Welcome to Cookie Curbs Coding Class. Today, I'm going to show you how to use JavaScript to play audio files. It's really easy. To get started, pop open your text editor or whatever you prefer to use to write HTML. Open a script tag. Script. And then inside it, put var audio equals new and then capitalized audio. I spelled audio wrong. Audio, there we go. And then in parentheses and in quotes, paste the link to the audio file you want to use. I'm using the Nyan Cat song and I'll put a link to it in the description so that you can use it too. And then write audio dot play. And then open parentheses and close parentheses. Oh, I forgot. Add semicolons at the end of each line. There we go. Close the script tag. And what this will do is it will immediately start playing the Nyan Cat song as soon as you load the page. So I'm going to save it. I'm going to call it sound.html. And I'm going to save it in this folder. Save. I'm going to pop open your file manager. Find the file and open it. I'm using Chrome, but you can use any browser. I know it works with both Chrome and Firefox. I don't know about other browsers, but it probably does. And look, the sound is playing. Well, don't really look. There's n nothing to see. There's just sound. But now it's just annoying because it plays as soon as you load the file. So, I'm going to add a button that makes it so that it plays only when you press the button. Pretty easy. All you have to do is turn this script into a function by doing function. And then whatever you want to call the function, I'm going to call it play. Open parentheses, close parentheses. Open curly braces. And then at the end of the, the script, close curly braces and add a semicolon. Now it's a function. Now add a button. Button, tag in HTML, on click, equals, in quotes, play, open parentheses, close parentheses, semicolon, close quotes, type, play the nyan cat song inside the tag, or whatever you want to write in there if you don't want to tell the users what it's going to do. Close the button tag, and save the file. Now, pop open your browser again. Reload the page. Now there's just a button. I'm going to turn up my volume nice and loud, and push the button. Here we go. As you can hear, it works. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out Kid Z on the bottom right corner of this video. Leave a comment to request other coding videos, because, you know, if you want to learn how to do something, just tell me. And also, go on my website at cuckneycurb.gq. You can do lots of pointless things, like download a zip file with my logo in it for absolutely no reason, because you can download my logo outside of a zip file. Again, thanks for watching. Farewell.